Hi everybody, how's it going? I'm Zero. I'm DK. And I'm Rizzo, and today on Anime Reaction, we're going to be watching the fifth episode of Fate Extra Last Encore. So, time for our weekly dose of vitamin M. Mm. Yeah. And so last time, it. new floor, new enemies, they're probably going to finish them off this episode. Probably, and on to the if next the one. Form, if the if my idea of the formula is correct. Mm. Anyway, three, two, one, let's, let's jam. jam. Huh, a live look at the Otaku Saga stock index. Negative numbers. Exactly. In the eight millions. Negative numbers? No, it Ching. was like, it had a dash on either side. Uh, ow. Gory. Yo. Mm -hmm. Yo. Flying swords. Nice. Naivety of youth can't be broken easily. Dude, have you received an electric bill? Why does he remind me of a Rule 63 Alina inverse? Why like determination isn't the number one factor of success in anime anymore damn this must be an alternate universe Are you sure we didn't miss an episode? Yeah, I'm not sure. I feel like we're missing something. <laughs> like a whole fucking fight? <laughs> oh my god, old man, speech. Also, half your torso is missing. How the fuck are you still speaking? Your mouth's gone. All right. Yeah, there we go. Jeez. That never end. What? <laughs> Apparently, and yet you're still talking. This old bastard has a lot to say. <laughs> and he's accepted the role of narrator. Oh, what the fuck, you? What? Still going? Ah... Uh... That explains it. So you can live to talk us to death another day. Oh, god damn it. Uh. Well, there you go. It's a flashback. Hooray for stock footage. Same exact pose. 
I'm still fucked up. Right. Oh, okay, here we go. Sniped. Ow. Got misted? Headshot? Damn. It's pretty impressive with iron sights. Right? 360 no scope. Huh. God damn, that was a really long intro. Okay. Right? Jesus Christ, old man. A lot to say. Also, how bad does that have to be raining for the Colosseum, of all places, to be flooded from the top down? Also, his, uh, his sniper must be like, must be like Icebreaker and just regenerates ammo. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking unlimited ammo up there. Perfect uh, yeah, PvE weapon. <laughs> or at least you just want to take on some low level peons. Oh, back in the day, like, uh, man. Icebreaker in PvP was. Quick scoping god. Mm -hmm. Ten thousand years. Oh, you know it was only. That's still a thousand years. Gave you such a crick of the neck. <laughs> so you know that feeling when someone says thirty years ago, and you think it's the nineteen seventies. That. You shouldn't dwell on the past. Ooh. But, ah. Uh. Uh Fitting.
had a suspicion. Yeah. It reminds me of Sora from Kingdom Hearts. I don't think his hair is nearly wild enough, but it's very similar. I didn't think that Robin had used poison, though. Ooh. Robin and Little John blowing bitches up now. <laughs> this one's like that poor bitch got pink misted. Damn, that's actually quite scary. One part Robin Hood, one part Killer Queen from JoJo's. Does everyone in this world have an awesome flying bike? Well. Another one. Oh. <laughs> Good old Nero. Rich, once extremely filthy rich. Good old Nero pressing that berserk button. Good old flawed human logic and emotion. Huh. One hundred percent. Uh oh. Oh. 
damn already. Don't tell me that was the plan all along. On purpose. That was the plan. Well, nothing like dead classmates to get you motivated, right? Uh oh. Is he about to reject this reality and substitute his own? percent huh jeez smokescreen Yeah, about that. Fuck yo, master. Oh, it's just a trap. Of course. Yo. Yeah, no. Whoo! Damn. Hmm. Bloodletting. <laughs> Who the hell do you think I am? Telling by not showing. Interesting. Our stock is rising. Oof. Baba boy, baba boy. Don't worry, Dan. You won't be seeing anything soon either. <laughs> he has no idea how fucked he is.
Damn. I'm gonna kill you by beating you at your own game. Straight savage. A lot more quiet the second time round. Thank God. Aww. Aww. Oh, double Uma. 10 out of 10 want Nero Glomps. No, take me with you, you assholes. <laughs> he had one. <sighs> yeah. Exactly to the formula. Yeah. I like this series. But I'm not really impressed by the fights. <laughs> no, not really. It definitely feels like a fake side story. Emphasis on side story. Yeah. It doesn't have that epic, like, you know, focus on the fights like you get with the Affordable series. Mm-hmm, badass. Insightful is always zero. <laughs> uh. And also a more subtle uh, taste of uh, Nero cuteness this week. Big glomp and double loom. I like it. Stinger. Oh. <laughs> 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 well, I do like Ren sucking on things. Oh, man. All together now. What the hell are you doing here? <laughs> the hell did we walk in on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, chat. You're so silly. Yeah. Dots. There we go. There we go. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah. Said it during the episode. Say it again here. I like this series, but the fights are really underwhelming. They didn't even show a majority of the fight this time around. I mean, yeah, you get a little bit with Robin Hood and Nero, but... Well, to be fair, they didn't show... Like, like the last one when they had... Um... Oh, God. Uh, when the first time that he went at 100% or whatever. Uh -huh. You know, it the, like the showed him doing it, but then it cut away. Yeah. Is this like a sh uh, like a uniquely Shaft thing, perhaps, of like showing by not showing or something? This episode made less sense than episode one. Uh, it made sense to me. Like the first part of it, I was a little confused, but then after you know he came back, I was like, oh okay. Yeah, that and that cool opening. Uh, yeah. So yeah, ba basically, like he was a uh, he was a uh, 
he was a master, and then he ended up getting defeated. So, but he somehow made it to. to well, be, because the whole system was broken, he ended up being brought back on the second floor. So he's basically a glitch in the Matrix. Yes. Well, as a JT here, mm-hmm. um, he was talking about the the Blackmore flashback. Yeah. To me, I mean, well, to us, in general, mm. it was way too long. Like, it, it was just, to me, it just felt like an exposition dump. Like, oh, yeah. hey, this character that we're going to kill off this episode, we need to get some some backstory for him. Right, he's here. So that he means something. Or is that, you know, his, you got to know his motivations for fighting. He's crazy, he's a glitch in the Matrix because he can't ascend, even if he defeats every master who comes his way. You know, he's just a crazy old man. Stop him before he kills again. Yeah, that's my thing. Was it really necessary? Hmm. I mean... I mean, the explanation of him not being able to ascend, and therefore his main reason for fighting being taken away... Yeah, but I think they could have explained that uh, without the long cold intro. Yeah. I don't know. It must have been a pretty tough cold Yeah, it's like though. to add well, sympathy or whatever. This series just isn't paced for that. Yeah. Yeah. And with as fast as we're going through the floors, I mean... That too. The, 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 way, the way that the flashback happened was based... Well... To us, I, you guys, you guys watched the reaction, but those here in chat haven't yet. I mean, to us, it literally was like, when are we? What time is it? What mm. day is it? What, is this the fight with our boy Nero uh, here, or is this like? A- I mean, I, I get you know adding adding elements to Blackmore's character, but. I don't know. Well, it lasts for the flashback itself. Uh, when he appeared with Robin Hood on the second floor, then I, I sort of got my sense of time back a little bit. But the first half of that flashback was really confusing. Yeah, it was like, are we done with the fight? Is this the end of the fight? Yeah. Did we completely miss like within the, the first epic like fight with Nero? Min- first minute? We we thought we actually skipped an episode on accident. It it felt like the end of a fight, you know, in present time. I like this series, but uh, like as far as Fate series goes, it ranks somewhere near the bottom as far as story goes. Agreed. Mm-hmm. So far. I mean, uh, you know, I think we've pretty much cracked the formula and it followed it uh, every episode till now. Um, hopefully it changes it up for the next floor. Maybe. I don't know. Probably. Hopefully it shows more of the fight next episode. Or in the next two-parter, however it's going to be. Because that'd be nice. It was actually the Fate Extra story. Yeah, uh, well, uh, yeah, let's be honest. Uh, Nero's the only reason why I'm watching this. <laughs> and also, <laughs> um, um, double umu. Um, and a big clomp. Your, your weekly moment of Nero cuteness for the day. Or for the week. Uh, that's repetitive. Anyway. If the next floor boss is who I think it is, I won't hold out too much hope for a bombastic, bombastic fight. Uh, uh, collective groans. Yeah. Well, I guess we. In other news, in other news, how about that um, Rin just showing back up all of a sudden? Oh yeah. Wait. Yeah. So now I'm here? very curious about Rin. <laughs> how the fuck? And how the because fuck. it seems like um, Nero and what's his name get like kicked out of the elevator when they get to the next floor. Mm-hmm. How was Rin just still just hanging out there, able to just get in at will? Hakuno, yeah. Hakuno. Yeah, so that's, I'm. That's... I'm, I'm, but I'm it... thinking that she's something else. She... I don't think that she's a master. Well, first of all, she's yeah, the I doctor. Mean... She Doctor was... always has to be near the TARDIS. Uh... <laughs> Confirmed. Rin Tosaka <laughs> is a Time Lord. 
I'm thinking that uh, if they left her on command seal, I, I don't remember. I just think that if they left her out of the story, the fans would riot. <laughs> so they just bullshit her way in. And what? What? Was it a frame of post credits? Huh. Yeah, yeah. I, I just, uh, I, I think Ren is something else entirely. Like, mm. yeah, kind of like say, well, since we like to compare this to the Matrix, maybe something like a, one of the special programs, like the Oracle or the, or the Locksmith or what? No, Keymaker. I think that was his name. Uh, one of those special, like, glitchy programs. Maybe she's something like that. So who knows? Uh, yeah, maybe I don't know. Hmm. But the more, yeah, the, the more we advance, the more questions we have. Rin, How very shafty. Both Rin and Nero are very adorable. And that's all that really matters, right? That's all I care about. Well, at least we could look forward to this. They're in the uh, elevator for this, the beginning of the next episode. Mm. Which typically means a bath scene. Hot tub! So... Let us know what you thought of the anime, what you thought of our reaction in the comment, in the comment section below. Yep, thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you're interested in joining our Discord, look for it in the description below. Ah, bath scenes, the only reason you watch Shaft series. That's going to do it for this episode of Anime Reaction. As always, I'm DK. Uma. 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 See, See you next time. time.